Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back again. Lockout men. Back again with another podcast for that ass. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's going on? (laughs) Welcome. Welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is my cousin, DJ Ryan Wolf, bringing us in to another Lockout Men Podcast, man. Well, I am Lockout Men, and welcome to the Lockout Men Podcast show. Yes, sir. I am back once again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in this podcast right here, I have to come back and respond to a comment. Now, I'm glad you guys is liking the uh, the, the video of uh, Kayla Taylor. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoying that video and you guys got some comments in there, some good comments and some comments. You know what I'm saying? Um, how, how can I say this, man? How, how can I say this right here, man? Um, yeah, yeah. U.S. Express, man. I mean, it's a mega carrier. It is what it is with uh, U.S. Express. I mean, you can't you you can't change their policies. You know, if if it's a if it's something that you done wrong with U.S. Express, and and it's in a policy, you you pretty much can't. You know, you can't you can't dispute it. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't dispute. You, you can't dispute company policies, especially if you're a company driver. So you if you're a company driver driving their trucks, then you got to abide by their policies. And what I have said earlier in the video that, you know, I, I you know, what I what I feel is bullshit is like something real to the company. I mean, I, it's it's not like I've been fired from place to place. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been fired from from places in my youth. I quit places and all like that. You know, I just dis, disagree with, with their policy. But, of course, when you sign on the dotted line, when you, when you sign that dotted line to come on to, to drive for a company or, or work for a company or whatever the case, you is essentially abiding to their policies now a lot of the shit is like in fine print i mean you literally got to get a fucking microscope to read the underlying fine print you know i mean let's say for example that in the fine print you can get fired for eating in a truck Hell, you you wouldn't even know that you could get fired for eating in the damn truck because you didn't see it in the fine print. I mean, that's how that's how some of these companies, not just trucking companies, but this is how some of these companies get at you. They say, um, let's let's take Kayla for example, her situation when she did the U-turn. Like she said, it wasn't no big deal. She found the big spot. She didn't hit nothing. She didn't cause no accidents. She made a, 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 a U-turn to get back to wherever she was going to. And then, boom, she comes to find out that that's against company policy. Like, how would you know that? I mean, if you, if you sign on and, and, and read these thick-ass employee handbooks you know sometimes we be so excited we be we be so happy we be so so like yeah you know when we get a, a a job or something like that and we just neglect to read 
the necessary stuff that could and would get us in trouble. And we could get fired for it. Now, normally, you know, times change. This is the new millennial. You know, companies are at will. What is it? At will? At, at will employment. I mean, they can fire you for whatever the case. They can fire you for what you say about the company. If you badmouth the company, they can fire you for that. What? That's a given. I mean, when you think about it, that is a given. But they they can fire you for just about anything. And if you try to, you know, try to get yourself a lawyer or something like that and you try to fight it, but it's it's an underlying it's an underlying in the employee handbook or in the employee policy. And you signed it. You signed it because you were happy to you, you're happy to get a job. You're happy to get a trucking job. You're happy to get into it. You're happy to do whatever it takes. But when something happens and it may and may not be your fault, but you could still be at pen, you could still get penalized for it because it's in the policy. So sometimes it's best just to hold up just a little bit. And bring one of them big ass magnifying glass, you know, the kind that, you know, the sleuths be using when they be looking for those intricate details. That's what you need. You're going to need that to look at the intricate details. Sometimes it takes a, you, you might have to get a lawyer involved. You might have to get a lawyer to read, to read over what the lawyer read over. It's like when you get into the rap game or when you get into the music game, they tell you right off the rip. They, they tell you right off the rip. Make sure you get a lawyer and make sure you read every line. I guess that's what we're going to have to start doing in the trucking game because you could get fired for just about any and everything out here, not just for the for the stuff that we know that we can get fired for, but the stuff that that we don't know we can get fired for. Take take again, take take Kayla for example. She did not know that she was on probation. Did they mention that to her? I don't know. We'll find out when I when I interview her. We we're we're in we're in talks now, so that you know I will be having I I should be getting her on soon. Um, let's not hold our breaths on that though, because she is busy. But we'll find out though. The invitation is still out there to you, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. Come on to the Lockout Men Show. Um, but yeah, you're gonna have to read the policies the underlying policies you're just gonna have to read that so look y'all i want to i want to thank you guys for watching i want you to I'm, thank you guys for listening but for the for my commenters man you guys <laughs> whoo you guys is something else you you guys is something else i hey I'm I'm glad that you guys rock with me. I I really do. I I really do. But let me tell you something. Let me let me let me tell you a little bit about lockout men right quick. There's a lot of stuff that I keep to myself. There's a lot of stuff that I keep to the chest. There's a lot of stuff that I don't that I don't put out there because I guess I'm not too transparent. So I just want you to know that I, I want you to know something right quick, all right, before I get into this comment. Don't you know that I had people call call into companies? I had a couple of people that called into U.S. Express and said that I did something. I had I had one person that called in when I was at J&R Schwugel. I had, I think I had one person that called in at the current company where I'm at now, but I'm, I'm not sure. But 
But let me tell you something. One thing for certain, two things for sure. On YouTube or any social media platform, I will not let you know where I, who I drive for. Now, if you see me out here, good. You know what I'm saying? Come up here, slap hands with me, rock out with me, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, go to Denny's with me or, or, or whatever place that we can sit down and chill and all like that. Cool. Rock out with your boy. But on this platform, this like Guilty 718 says, there's a lot of people on here that's trying to take your energy, your positivity, and try to make it muck something. You know what I'm saying? You don't give your energy to too many people. You know what I'm saying? If you call me up, if you if you call me up or test me up and say, yo, lockout man, I want to come on to the show. Let's talk. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't have a problem with that. Let's let's talk. Let's chill. Let's, you know, let's rock out, man. I give you the floor. That's what I do on my channel. I give you the floor. Now, don't get me wrong. If you guys disagree with what I said, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? We're here to agree to disagree. Not everybody is going to agree with with my statements or with my sayings or whatever I say. It's we're human beings, man. We all got our own opinions, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got that. You may not agree with me. Somebody else may agree with me. You know, I get it, you know. I I get it. But like I said, though, there's as far as me telling you guys who I drive for, it's really not. It's really no point. No more me telling you who I drive for. When I drove for U.S. Express, there was a reason why I, I mentioned U.S. Express throughout all of my videos. There was a reason why I use uh, when I drove for J.N.R. Swoogle. There was a reason why I, I, I said what I said about J.N.R. Swoogle. You know what I'm saying? Quiet as it kept at that at that time, and I don't want to toot my own horn. I really don't. But at that time, when I drove for you, I mean for J and R Swoogle, I was pretty much the reason why a lot of the drivers came over to the company. But see, now that I work, that I drive for a small company, a smaller company, a local company, ain't no point in that. Ain't no point because a lot of a lot of you guys are from abroad. I'm sure y'all not going to move from wherever y'all at all the way up here just to come and work for a small mom and pop company. Y'all not going to do that. Y'all not going to do that. Y'all y'all just not. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no point of me saying, hey, you know, I drive for such and such and such and such and this, that, and the other. No, it ain't no point in that no more. I got a family to feed. I got a household to take care of. And I don't need nobody that has a bad attitude or that feels that or feels some kind of way. I don't need nobody to mess up my bag, man. I don't. I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here working for my family and I don't need nobody to mess that up for me, man. So if you rock out with me, rock out with me. I appreciate it. If you don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. All right. So for the people that rock out with me, I rock out. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And for the people that don't, well, what what can I say? You know, I'm I'm out here, you know, I'm out here trying to be positive. I'm trying to keep focus. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 trying to make sure that everything on my end works. You know what I'm saying? So let's with that said, let's uh let's move on. Let's move on to the let's move on to the comment yes sir let's move on to the comment where is it is it is that it nope there it is 
What's up? Yes, sir. Let me let me bring it up, man. Let me bring it up. This comment comes from I really can't tell. Bull market. Bull market. Man, I don't know what the what the other one is, but this comes from Bull Market. All right. And this comment was in um was in the um the Kayla Taylor U.S. Express video. All right. So here we go. All right. So my man says, yo, I fucks with you, cousin, but I got to call you out because you got let go behind something you felt was wrong. You pulled a Karen. <laughs> that boy said I pulled a Karen. I, I pulled the phone number. I pulled the phone out and, and, and called the police on some black people. <laughs> oh, okay. I pulled a Karen. <laughs> he says, uh, that's like saying I got caught selling drugs. So I'm going to tell on this dude over here with the rims on his car because I know he's moving drugs. If I can't sell him, he can't either type shit. I'm just saying. And then who's it? Zach? Zach Turin? Zach Turin? I'm not sure. Um, he made two posts on this on the same video. He says here, he said, yeah. He be snitching and taking pictures. Hold up. And then I think on the other one, he said something about lockout men snitching or something like that. Ah, uh, man. Well, thank you for the comment, bro. I really do. Uh, thank you for the comment. But, yo, snitching? Hmm. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here that be snitching, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a lot of people out here that be snitching. A lot of people want to keep their mouth shut. A lot of people, you know, that, you know, that's part of the part of the don't snitch thing. You know what I'm saying? But this right here is really not the case because what I said in the video is that I had that I had a picture and I did send the picture in to the uh, to the dispatcher and I did ask her the question. But that same picture that I had was all over the Internet. She seen that picture. It was the it was in the Facebook group. It was in Twisted Truckers, bro. It was in the U.S. Express post. Somebody else put that picture in there, man. This dude over here talking about I'm taking pictures. How the hell I'm taking pictures, bro? I don't even ride with, I, I, when I drive, I don't even have my, I, I, the only camera that's rolling is the, is the camera that's on the, uh, that's, that's my dash camera. I don't have my phone in my hand no more. You know what I'm saying? I learned my lesson a long time ago from that. So don't keep my hand, don't keep my phone in my hand. Even when I get a call, I, I got my phone like in the text message when somebody call it'll let them know that a i'm driving or whatever the case i'll call you back later now if it's an important phone call then yeah i gotta pull over to the side and make that call but sometimes pulling over to the side on the curve because on the on the shoulder could get you in trouble too you know what i'm saying i i pulled on the shoulder and you know i was told by safety that i couldn't pull on the shoulder you know, if I was to get in, if I was to, if somebody was to hit me or side swipe me or anything like that, if I don't have my triangles out or my flashers on, it'll be my fault. It'll be a preventable. You know what I'm saying? So I try not to pull to the to the shoulder unless it's absolute necessary. But um. But this dude said I pulled a Karen. I I, I pulled out I pulled out my phone and called the police. <laughs> I, I didn't no bro. It wasn't no Karen. It wasn't it wasn't no Karen in that. You see, you right. 
I did feel some kind of way when I got when I got terminated, just like Kayla did. She felt some kind of way because she said the same thing. If you go over to her video, I didn't play the entire video. You got to go over to her video where she said the same thing I said. And that is there's a lot of drivers that be doing some ill shit. That be doing some reckless shit. That be doing some some shit that'll put people's lives at stake, man. Come on now. That phone number that's on the back of the trailer, that's that's how's my driving number ain't there for, ain't, ain't there for show and tell, bro. Everybody and their mama calls that number when they see a truck go do some do some crazy shit. And like I said before, I was called on. You know what I'm saying? Ouch. You see somebody out here driving reckless. You mean to tell me you see somebody out here driving reckless that's going to cause that may potentially cause an accident. You're you're not going to say nothing about it. You see you see old boy riding down the riding down the highway with his foot hanging out of the truck. You're not going to say nothing about it. Now, of course, if you have your phone, you're going to take a picture. And then when you take that picture, what you going to do? You're going to put it up on the Internet. Ain't that a form of snitching? Because if you put it up on the Internet, you're putting it up for the world to see. Everybody to see that that driver driving down the street with his foot out the window. Don't you think companies, companies is all over social media, bruh. They're all over social media. You, you don't think major companies like Prime, Snyder, U.S. Express, Swift, you, you don't think they be trolling uh, trucking groups, Facebook groups, YouTube, you don't think they be trolling for 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 the company for the company be tagged in a in a video? You don't think they be doing that, man? Snitching? Come on now. Come on now. This is serious. This is serious, man. Don't you know trucking is this it's the second it's the second most dangerous career that you can have? And you got you you got truckers out here that's that's falling asleep behind the wheel. You got truckers out here that's that's not paying attention. You got truckers out here that's things happen, bro. Things happen. If you see a truck driver crash into a into a vehicle uh, that's driving reckless and crash into a family. In a vehicle, you're not gonna call that in. You're not gonna call that in. Really? You're not gonna call that in. You're not gonna call that in. And this other dude says, I'm taking pictures. Bruh, everybody and their mama taking pictures out here, bruh. Everybody and their mama taking video out here. All you have to do is go to Tristed Truckers on Facebook, man, and you see a gang of motherfuckers taking pictures and videos and shit. Like I said, that one particular picture was already out here. I just asked a question because, like I said, I was one and done. Yes, I felt some kind of way. I was one and done. You know, I I thought I, I thought that I was gonna get uh get written up. At least that's where I came from. And that's why I said in the beginning of the video is that you gotta read the underlying, you gotta read everything in that policy, man, in that handbook. Ain't no more, ain't no more write-ups. Uh what is it? Ain't no more verbal, ain't no more write-up, and then the third time is termination. No, it's one and done in some of these places, bruh. It's one and done. I, like I said, being the new jack in the game, I thought they was going to write me up for doing that. I didn't know it was going to be one and done. 
I ain't know that. So, yeah, I felt some kind of way about that when I see other drivers over here, over here driving all reckless and, and all like that. And I'm, I'm like, huh. So, uh, snitch, I guess. But I pulled a Karen, though. Nah, I, I ain't pulled my phone out and called the police on nobody, bruh. I ain't pulled my phone out and 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 took no pictures or nothing like that. Like I said before, the pic I had was already out there. <laughs> it was already out there. And as a matter of fact, Haley, the dispatcher, already seen that picture. And of course, they took immediate action. The question that I asked was, yo, I, I got fired just by talking about talking about the driver tag, talking about the equipment. But this this dude driving with his foot out the window, like, hmm, okay, cool. I'm just curious, that's all. With all this stuff that's going around, man, I mean, you know, you you got people you you got people calling in on on truck drivers on a daily basis, bro. I mean, like I said, they don't put that phone number on the back that that house my driving phone number. On the, on the back of the trailer for nothing. There is 90, I say about 90% complaints and 10% compliments. And that's how it is. That's how it is. You get more complaints about, about a situation than you get somebody calling in and actually saying, hey, you know, that driver did a, did a real nice thing or, or whatever the case. You see a driver get out, get out of his truck and do something nice for somebody. Nobody ain't going to call in for that. Nobody, nobody, nobody ain't going to call in for that. Nobody. But when they see a driver out here fucking up, crashing in, you know, crashing into shit, uh, doing some silly shit, uh, talking out the side of their neck shit, looking at you funny shit talking about whatever they want to talk about online shit. Oh yeah, they somebody going to call the company. Oh, hey, uh Lockout made this video and uh he was drinking Patron in the video and I don't think that's uh I don't think that's right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm on my home time and um I'm not driving the truck. So you just happen to see me on the video drinking some Patron on my home time. Hmm. But what about what, what about you driving down, you know, driving down a highway, swerving all over the all over the place? You not bruh, you not gonna call if you see that. That's a safety issue, man. You putting lives at risk out here. You just don't know how it is. You know, everybody that want to get into this trucking field, oh, I got my license. I'm ready to get into the field and all like that. But I'm, I'm going to say what, what my man said. And I, I think he made a good, valid point. Now that all trucks are automatics now, it pretty much, he said it pretty much makes the driver lackadaisical. They, their focus is not focused on the road. Their focus on putting their truck in cruise and having their phone in their hands and, and, and checking their Facebook, their YouTube, their, their Twitter and all like that. He said when, when the trucks came with manuals, you ain't had time to do that. You ain't had time to do nothing but to focus on to keep the focus on the gears that you in. Your left, your left leg is constantly working, and that and that right arm is constantly going into gear. Uh what gear I'm in? Cause I'm I'm driving and I gotta slow down. Am I in 10th gear? Okay, I gotta make sure I'm in 10th gear. So when I drop down to 45, I gotta go down to 
I got to go down to ninth gear. 38, so forth and so on. Your, your mind and body is moving. You know what I'm saying? And I get what he was saying. And I understand now why he said that. Now that trucks comes with automatics, all you do is just sit there and drive. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm a fan of an automatic. <laughs> I, I, I fuss with automatic. I put that motherfucker in cruise and I just drive. I just cruise. You know what I'm saying? I can drive a manual. Y'all see me drive a manual. So it doesn't matter which truck that you put me in. I could drive that motherfucker. But what I'm saying is if you're in a manual, if you're in a manual, your mind is going to be a little bit more focused on the drive than that, you, that you're not in a manual. Again, your, your, your left knee, clutch, double clutch, float, whatever you do, me, I'm a double clutcher. Cha, 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 cha. You know what I'm saying? Other people, they float. And then other people, they don't, they, they, uh, they put their foot on a clutch. Bam. But when you drive in the manual, your, your, your right hand is steady moving. Unless you get on a, unless you get on a straightaway. And you keep that bad boy in the tenth gear, and you doing 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 down a down the highway. And then, when you come up to when you, when you come up to an issue, you got to drop it down. When you're going up the hills, it's the same thing. When you're going up grades and going down grades, it's the same thing. You're gonna have to you you're gonna have to remember what gear you in. And then when you lose that gear. You got to you you got to hurry up and get it back into gear. You got to find that gear. You in 10th gear, you took it out of 10th gear and now you got to and and now you try to put it in. Okay, can't get it in the 10. Can't get it in the 9. You know. You see what I'm saying? So, I agree with old school said about about uh about the trucks now. Now, unfortunately, it's not our fault. Would would trust we drive? Major carriers are one are moving over to all automatics. Like I said before, you got new school drivers out here that's 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 either restricted or they're coming from from schools that that's not even training in manuals no more. Now, if you go to a small mom and pop company that still got manuals, then yeah, that's going to be a problem. I'm just, I'm just saying. So, so yeah, bro. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> snitching. <laughs> I don't know. There's some things, I, there, there's some things to be kept to yourself. You know what I'm saying? There's some things to be kept to yourself, you know. But in this trucking field where people could die I don't think you want to keep that to yourself, man. If if a truck comes over and cuts you off, you you're not gonna say something about that. You're not gonna say you're not gonna say something about a trucker that's not paying attention, that's not doing his job, that's putting lives at risk. This is an eighty thousand pound tractor trailer. And trust me when I tell you this, shit fucking happens. So just saying, bro, I'm just saying. But in this situation right here, the Karen move, no, nah, that wasn't no Karen. And, and you, try to, you, you try to make it like a drug deal? Brother man don't fuck with drugs, man. <laughs> Don't fuck with drugs. And even if I did sell drugs or something like that and I get caught uh, selling drugs or something like that, I, I ain't going to say nothing about the Nets, man. You know, that's, that's his hustle, you know. 
You ain't gonna say nothing about the dude over there with the rim. Shit, I don't know what the fuck he doing. Shit, he can have he he could be a doctor for all I know. That got the rim. I get caught if if I get caught selling drugs or something like that, I'm gonna have to take my punishment. Gonna have to take gonna have to take my take my L and run with it. You know what I'm saying? But this is an industry, a business where safety is pounded in your head on a daily freaking on a daily freaking basis on a daily basis when you wake up in the morning you you get behind that wheel you say a little prayer to make sure that everything that the day goes all right and then at the end of the day you say another prayer and and start all over again that's all that is that's all that is y'all and that's it that's it that's it hey if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this i appreciate all of you guys listen don't think that i don't i appreciate all you guys including the haters you know what i'm saying not to say that you're a hater bro i don't know you say you fuck with me i appreciate you thank you 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 said you want to call me out thank you and then like i said i i didn't want to take time to text and 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 give you a long paragraph i'd rather come back and do it this way all right so i appreciate you guys all right i appreciate you guys okay but let me tell you something go over to twisted trucker the facebook group if you can get in there because i think you got to join it but if you could get in there all you, you you see nothing but pictures of truckers taking pictures of other truckers doing some fucked up shit. So you tell me you you tell me if if that's a form of snitching. Let me know. Let me know if you get in there. You know what I'm saying? And 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 talk to me. All right. All right. Again, you know, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I do appreciate all you guys support. Thank you very much. And don't forget to share, man. And if you like that one video with uh with Kayla Taylor and you want us to get together, let her know, man. Go over to her YouTube page and say, hey, yo, we want that interview with Lockout Men. We want that interview. We want that interview. Yes, sir. So we can chop it up. We both have something in common. We both got terminated just I, I, of just the similarities of getting terminated getting called in there getting ambushed everything we want that interview yo go over there and let her know kayla taylor yo i'm lockout man thank you for joining me on the lockout man podcast show i'm going to get my cousin to play us out and on that note i will get who, who is that dj